Justin Barsha. To get, you know, the guy has won, I don't know how many season openers. I know he had two in a row from 2019 to 2020. And this year at A1 2023, Justin Barsha, he doesn't win, but he gets one heck of a lead, right? Like, he doesn't get the whole shot, but by the first turn, he's in the lead and he's holding off Tomac. I have to admit, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big Justin Barsha fan, but there's something about the fire that he has at Anaheim that just kind of makes you like, all right. Aside from all the antics that he likes to pull when he's not in first place, he's like kind of like if the guy's in, you know, the lead, he's all right. But if he's not in the lead, he's punching and clawing and scratching and fighting to get there. But I will, I will say this. I will say this. Watching Justin Barsha get that whole shot, well, not get the whole shot, but, but gather the lead and, you know, leading for a lap or two before Tomac passed him was still yet very incredible. And I, I commend him for that for sure. What got me most was after Tomac passed him and Ken Roxon and Malcolm were on his tail, I'm not sure what kind of mistake he made. I don't know if it was under pressure or if just it happened out of bad luck. He just flings off the track, and I was, was you know, I was like, like, look, guys, I don't like Barsha, but at no point do I want Barsha to crash out, get injured, or get hurt, or anything like that, but I, I want to say, I want to give him props for being phenomenal at Anaheim almost every year that he's ever raced at Anaheim, it seems, um, and just seeing, like, his, his little accident flying off the track, well, he, he finished just outside of top 10 after having that kind of crash, so Kudos to Justin Barsha. Um, hopefully this season is a clean season for him and we can see more of a performance from him throughout the process. Like I said, I'm not a Barsha fan, but anybody that's on a 450 and riding at that level, is, is they're skilled. They're, they're capable of doing something. And he shows us every year at Anaheim that he's got the skill to, to be up there. And I want to see that flood through the entire season because the 450 class is stacked. Cooper Webb. Eli Tomac, Sexton, Roxon, Stewart, hopefully, like, it's stacked. And just to have another contender up there is always great. I just want to see, I want to see those people contending up there, you know, do well and be smart about it. But great job, Justin Barsha. I know you don't need it from me, but, man, it was, it was uh, some good racing until the incident, man. Solid for you.